Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to open a file using the Adobe Photoshop. And the version that we are using is Adobe Photoshop 2019. So to open a file, go to file menu. Over there, you can find an option which is open. Click on open. A new pop-up window will open. From here, select the file that you want to open. So for example, assuming this is the location of my files that I have stored here. Now I can just open any of the file that I want to work with. For example, let us say I want to open this file. So I'll click on the file and I'll click on open. So by clicking on open all the uh, every details in the file that will be opened. So as you can see in this file, I have multiple layers. Now I can work with different layers for this particular file. Okay. So this is a very easy task, how you can open an already present Photoshop file or an already present image file. Now, the second task that we need to do is to create a new document in Adobe Photoshop. To create a new document, you have two options. Number one, either you can go to the create new option or number two, you can go to the file and click on new. In both the ways, you can create a new document. Now here, there are few things that you need to know. Number one, there are some already saved presets that you can use. For example, you can go to here photos. So all the generally used photo sizes are already given. For example, the first size is default Photoshop size, which is 16 centimeter cross 12 centimeter. The second size is a landscape photo size, which is two cross three at 300 PPI. PPI means pixels per inch. The third size is four cross six or uh, six cross four in uh, 300 PPI. And the next size is five cross seven. So whenever they are writing five cross seven, this is given in terms of inches. And the first size is given in terms of centimeters in the same way. There are some default Photoshop size, default photo sizes that are already given. A part of this, if you want to create some document for printing purposes, then you can go to the print option and you can view all the saved presets. For example, you want to do a A4 size printing. So this is the size of your A4 size paper, which is 210 cross 297 millimeters at 300 pixels per inch. Then this is your letterhead. This is your legal paper, which is 8.5 cross 14 inches. This is the size of your tabloid. Then you have all the popular printable sizes are present here. For example, A6 paper, A5 paper, A3, B5, B4, B3 and so on. So there are already present printing sizes are already given. And third, if you want to create an art and illustrations, for example, if you want to create a postcard, you want to create a poster, you want to create a 1080p uh, photo which is 920 cross 1080 p pixels so as you can see in this particular video also this particular video is recorded at 920 1920 cross uh, 1080 pixels and this is 720 pixels and so on you can also create a photo for web present websites for example uh, there are different presets that are already present you can create uh, photos for your mobile phone applications. For example, this is iPhone X resolution. This is iPhone 7, 8 and 6 resolution. And the same way you can create photos for different kinds of mobile applications also. And then you can also create documents for uh, photos for films and video sizes. For example, this is HDT HDTV, which is 1080p pixels and so on. There are many resolutions already present. But a part of this, you can also create your own preset, your own size. For example, here I can just create on this right hand box my own preset. Let us say this preset size is my uh, new preset. From here, I can define some width of the document. I can define some height of height of the document and I can define whether the document should be uh, having a black background, whether the document should be having a white background, whether the document should be having a background color. So what background color I need, I can choose from here. I can also select whether the document should be transparent and so on. There are many options that are present here. And here you can select the color mode, whether you want it to bitmap, whether you want it to grayscale, whether you want it to CMYK or lab color, any of the following colors. And this is the resolution that you want to choose. 
so for high resolution pictures it is recommended that you have uh, 300 pixels per inch but again you can also work with 72 pixels per inch if the size of the document is smaller so as i'm creating a document which is 920 so 1920 pixels width and uh, 1080 pixels uh, height so i'm going to create the resolution of the document is 300 pixels per inch that is how many pixels will be there in one inch one square inch of the document so this is the orientation whether you want it to be this orientation whether you want to be to this orientation whether you want it to be a uh, square or uh, artboard orientation so any whatever kind of orientation you want you can just choose it from here and you can just click on create so this will create your new photoshop document now you can work on this photoshop document with various tools that are present here